thinking about getting some chickens. Our neighbor has some. Can you hear them in the background? Hi friends! How are you guys doing? I'm trying to mix in this sand. Because I'm trying to do some seedlings today. Okay, so we went to Sky, which is a local nursery, here and got a bunch of seeds. I'm excited. Obviously can't plant all of them right now, but you can actually start planting some now, so I'm excited. So doing a little experiment, I'm trying to find the brightest spot here. I'm gonna go use the light meter to find out. But before I do that, let me finish telling you guys the plan. I'm doing a experiment here where I have some, I'm just reusing some seedling pots that I had from before. Some toilet paper rolls, experimenting with some egg cart that I punch holes in. And this is, I, I bought this to spoil myself. And this tray was also from Daiso, which I love, because it has holes at the bottom. So I'm gonna fill it with dirt. So it was mixing the medium here. It's very dense. I don't know how much more sand I should add. Yeah, it's not terrible. Just don't step on it, Dan. I'm trying to tell him not to compact the dirt. He's like, That's what Dan sounds like. He's giving me the eye roll right now. <laughs> We're gonna go find the brightest spot, put these there just like this, and then putting this row cover on. They have hoops to hold them up, but instead of using hoops, I'm gonna try to get away with using some sticks. And this should act like a little greenhouse and keep them warm. So I'm excited about that. I'm growing a lot of different types of lavender. I kind of want a lavender field, but I don't really think there's enough sun for it. Right now, the sun is like right there. I think the brightest spot is somewhere over here, which is not that bright at all because the sun is directly across from me. It's really, really low in the horizon. I feel like I'm gonna need a lot more. Native Americans basically used this land and what resources they had available to them and how they, you know, made various things. One of the things that I thought was cool, they made a, they would take red cedar bark and turn it into a rain jacket. So that's what they wore to keep themselves dry. Brilliant and fashionable. I would like to make myself one of those. Look, it's like, I want some of that water. So I'm just wetting these and then hopefully the rain will keep them moist. Having these cells are really, really nice as far as like organizing, but I don't really want to buy anything to make them. So I think the egg cartons are fine. So I'm probably going to like experiment with like some juice and milk. Historically, when I use the egg carton ones, I feel like they just dried out so easily. So they were just not good for it. Hopefully I'm trying this method, which is like filling it in with other things to create a bigger mass so it holds more moisture. Hopefully that will help. And putting the cover over it. So I guess I'll come back and, hey, that's not what you're doing, that's mommy's job. Maybe in a week, come back and just check the moisture and see how they're doing. These thinner ones are definitely gonna dry out faster than the pots, but it's what we got. We gotta start planting. So yeah, let me know what you guys like to use to make your cells. Any good tips? Uh, no, 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 no. She's like, she's becoming a true Pacific Northwest dog. I got a bunch of seeds today. There's so many. What do you actually end up doing with them? Do you actually, are you supposed to plant them all in one season? That was the other thing that I was curious about. Like how long do they last? I think some might have read somewhere like three, three years? Or is that just for beans? So the idea is I'm hoping to jumpstart the growing season by putting the cover over it. So I'm really interested in growing a bunch of different types of lavender. It is a heirloom variety. It's an English lavender, heat and drought tolerant plants that attracts pollinators. Yeah, it's a perennial, so I like that about it as well. It'll come back year after year, and hopefully I'll get thousands of them. Cool. Let's plant away. 
It says a cold period, which is fine because we're in January, four to six weeks before average for us date. We are there. Who's excited? One eighth on the surface. So basically on top, do not cover because it needs light to germinate. Ooh, they are very shiny. Volca is very interested. So usually I think people say like put three in a cell. So I will take that advice and kind of spread them apart a little. It's a guesstimate, you know? How many of these do we want? 10,000? Yep. <laughs> well, yeah, my question is, do you... Yeah, I guess you could save them for a few years. Okay, fine. So we'll just do one cell. One cell of this wonderful lavender. We'll just put it here so we can remember. And the next one I have is the Spanish lavender. I think it's cute. It has those little pink ribbons. Are they smaller? They are actually slightly smaller. So let's grab... That's one. I need smaller fingers. Counting them is really an issue. I'm not gonna count. I'm just gonna guesstimate. Yeah, I don't think the Spanish lavender does um, as good as the first one we just planted for my climate. I'm in zone eight. How would you describe the Pacific Northwest weather pattern? Confusing. I still don't know. I've lived here for five years now and I still don't know how to dress. Seriously, it's the struggle is real. You have to wear layers, Christine. I do, and then I get too hot. And then like, actually, it's the first time in my life where I felt like the fabric mattered so much because it's so damp here. So you really don't want to wear cotton. It's like this whole discussion. And like, I still don't have my footwear, right? Can, can y'all give me some advice? All right, I think I just put the whole package in here. Might as well. Uh, maybe, maybe some this way. There we go. Did I tell you that I'm not very good at this? <laughs> Here is another one. It's called the Fern Leaf Lavender Butterfly Herbs. Yep, you can plant them in February. Sow the seeds an inch apart. Really? <laughs> I just dumped a bunch. Wait, it does say that. Oh, well. Ugh, inch apart. Yeah, that was about an inch apart, right? <laughs> They're not all gonna germinate. Why do they make it so hard to open? What if people have arthritis? All right, an inch apart, Christine. Come on, folks. Everybody's in it. Volka's, Volka's all up in it. Ooh, these have like little white dots. Unless they're, are they all like them? It's kind of funny. All right, I think that's it. Hey, none of that for you. That's not for you. One here. Why do you think this is for you? It's not. There's gotta be an easier way. Oh, you know, there is a way, actually. Use a toothpick. Silly. Use a wet toothpick, and it will gravitate towards it. And so I'm hoping to fill this bed that's behind me with these seedlings that I'm planting. Have a good one, guys. See you guys next week. So in theory, we're supposed to cut it, but I'm not going to.